Huawei's cluster computing breaks through blockades. Why can a weaker single chip still win? Despite the escalating U.S. chip blockade, which restricts access even to 3 nanometers process technology, Huawei suddenly unveiled the SN960 cluster with 990,000 cards, achieving a computing power of 2's flops, reportedly more powerful than XAI's current global largest Colossus cluster. This sounds like a fantasy. How can a weaker single chip, when clustered, become a world leader? Anyone would stare at the screen and shout, That's impossible! What is the secret behind this? This is precisely what Huawei founder Ren Jingfei meant by using mathematics to supplement physics. Simply put, Huawei chooses not to compete on the single chip muscle, but instead trains its skills in teamwork. It's like a war where the opponent sends a single super soldier, and Huawei counters with a perfectly coordinated elite legion. The core secret is the Linksu Interconnect Protocol. It functions as an ultra efficient set of tactical instructions allowing 500,000, or even 1 million, Ascend cards to operate as a single brain, boasting fast response and zero breakdown, 10 times more effective than a scattered group of super soldiers. What's even more revolutionary is that this technology is not only high-performing but Huawei has also chosen to open-source the technical specifications for Linksy 2.0, along with the Kin compiler and the Mind tool chain. This is a bold move, Considering that NVIDIA's NVLink technology has always been highly proprietary, and the EU's chip pilot line, costing $1.4 billion, has yet to show concrete results. Huawei is proactively opening its doors to build an ecosystem. This move not only bypasses the blockade but may also rewrite the rules of the global AI computing power game. Let's dive into three core questions. Where exactly is Huawei's cluster computing superior to the West's? Why did the U.S. blockade inadvertently force out a better technology? What new insights can this philosophy of using mathematics to supplement physics bring to global technological development? Huawei's cluster technology first busts the myth of single-core supremacy, a trend that even NVIDIA is quietly following. NVIDIA's latest B200 GPU, touted as one server replacing an entire supercomputer, essentially binds two chips together to function as one, then clusters them using NVLink technology. However, its ceiling is clear. The latest DGX GB200 SuperPod cluster maxes out at 32,000 GPU cards, whereas Huawei's Ascend 960 cluster scales directly to 990,000 cards, over 30 times larger. More critically, consider latency. The Linksu protocol achieves a mere 2.1 microseconds, nearly half the interconnect latency of NVIDIA's Quantum X800. The latter cannot even compare to Linksu's nanosecond-level fault tolerance and failover speed. Behind these numbers is a clash of two technological paths. U.S. companies were comfortable resting on physics upgrades, constantly striving for larger chips and more refined processes, but they ran into a bottleneck Intel encountered long ago, the coordination challenge in heterogeneous computing. Intel's UCI Interconnect standard, after three years, still hasn't fully solved compatibility issues among different vendor chiplets. Huawei addressed this by using the Linksu protocol to unify its full-stack technology, implementing high-reliability designs from the physical to the transport layers. It maintains stability even over interconnect distances exceeding 200 meters, a hurdle the West has yet to clear. Commentary. While the West remains focused on the muscle size, of a single chip, Huawei used mathematical algorithms to reconstruct the logic of computing power. This innovation is not a simple technological iteration, it is a fundamental disruption of the existing rules. It proves that when chip process technology is restricted, interconnect technology and system optimization can carve out an entirely new track. It also exposes the hegemonic fallacy that you cannot achieve top-tier computing power without advanced process technology, providing a blueprint for circumventing technological blockades. A look at the EU's chip strategy further highlights Huawei's pragmatism and efficiency. To reduce reliance on U.S. companies, the EU invested massive funds into its CHIP Act. The EMEC-led 1 nanometer pilot line alone received a $1.4 billion investment, with giants like ASML lending support. 
but the hype is overshadowed by awkward reality. The Apex Heterogeneous Integration Pilot Line won't launch until December 2024, and the PIX Europe Photonics Chip Line is scheduled to start in mid-2025. To date, there is no mature product ready for mass production. In contrast, Huawei took less than a year from the launch of Linksu 1.0 through verification on over 300 Atlas 900 Ultra nodes to the open sourcing of the 2.0 standard. The SN 950 cluster is scheduled for market release in 2026, and the 960 cluster has a clear roadmap for 2027. The EU's predicament stems from path dependence, insisting on following the old, advanced process, route while neglecting its own shortcomings, a lack of unified interconnect standards and a full-stack software ecosystem. Their pilot lines are scattered across multiple countries like Belgium, Germany, and France, leading to extremely high coordination costs. Huawei, however, operates a self-controlled, closed loop from chip to protocol to software toolchain, leading to a vast difference in efficiency. More importantly, Huawei is avoiding a technological monopoly by opening the Linksu standard and inviting partners to build the ecosystem, precisely the spirit of collaboration missing in the EU's chip strategy. Commentary, the EU's capital stacking innovation proves yet again that technological breakthroughs are not bought with money but are achieved through a clear strategic direction and an ecosystem mindset. Huawei's cluster computing approach avoids the process bottleneck and uses an open stance to build collective strength. This perspective is far broader than the technical barriers constructed by the West. In a time of global chip supply chain tension, this huddling for warmth model of innovation is the correct path for technological progress. The U.S. blockade has ironically become a catalyst for Huawei's technological surge, which is most evident in its software ecosystem. The U.S. tried to brick Huawei's hardware by restricting EDA software and banning Google services, but Huawei responded by pursuing an open-source breakthrough. By the end of 2025, Huawei plans to open-source its Ken compiler, fully open the Mind Series toolchain, and even make the OpenPangu foundational large model publicly available. This strategy strikes directly at the heart of U.S. technological dominance. NVIDIA's monopoly on AI computing power relies on the closed nature of the CUDA ecosystem, and Huawei is breaking this monopoly through open source. One only needs to look at the history of OpenAI to understand the importance of an ecosystem. In 2016, NVIDIA gifted OpenAI a DGX1 supercomputer. With the support of the CUDA ecosystem, OpenAI gradually launched the GPT series models. Now, Huawei is putting more advanced computing power and open source toolchains on the table, essentially handing out free supercomputers to global developers. The US blockade, intended to suppress Huawei, has instead forced Huawei to build a more open ecosystem that attracts global partners, a clear example of lifting a rock only to drop it on one's own feet. Commentary The US technology blockade committed a fatal error, treating technology as a tool for political games, forgetting that the essence of technology is sharing and collaboration. Huawei's use of an open-source strategy to defuse the blockade demonstrates the principle of Guiding is better than blocking. When a technology is sufficiently open and inclusive, any blockade becomes futile. This philosophy of using openness to combat closure has not only saved Huawei but also provided a vivid lesson for the global tech community. The underlying logic of using mathematics to supplement physics is actually a higher level of innovative wisdom, particularly crucial in today's era of exploding computing demand. The computing power needed to train a trillion parameter large model doubles every six months. Relying solely on improving chip process technology simply cannot keep pace. While NVIDIA's B200 can boost inference performance by 30 times, its cost and energy consumption are astronomically high. In contrast, Huawei's SN 950 cluster can achieve 524 flops of computing power with 500,000 cards offering dramatically superior cost-effectiveness. This wisdom is also reflected in the mastery of detail. The Linksu protocol's optical path fault tolerance operates at the nanosecond level. This means that if individual cards fail in a 990,000 card cluster, 
the system can instantly switch without affecting overall operation, increasing reliability by 100 times. Comparable Western clusters often require a full shutdown for troubleshooting upon node failure, resulting in massive losses. This, mathematical optimization, is more sustainable than simply stacking physical hardware and aligns better with the global trend toward green computing. Commentary, Ringing Face. Using mathematics to supplement physics is essentially about using innovative thinking to break through resource constraints. In a time when chip process technology is nearing physical limits and raw materials are increasingly scarce, this mindset points the global tech industry toward a new direction. Instead of competing intensely in the existing sector, use algorithms and system optimization to open up new growth markets. Huawei's practice proves that genuine core technology is never obtained through choke holds, but through the wisdom of solving problems from a different perspective. Huawei's cluster computing breakthrough is more than the victory of one company. It is the victory of an innovation philosophy. It proves that technological competition is not a zero-sum game, and that openness and collaboration are the true keys to success. The US blockade could not stop Huawei, and the EU's massive spending could not surpass Huawei's efficiency. The logic behind this is worth pondering by everyone. Would you like to continue the conversation by answering the final question? Which do you think will have a greater impact on the world? The best nuclear fusion device or the chiefing green hydrogen ammonia project? From the previous turn.